Well, it's Sunday, so it must be weekly setup day in my planner. Hi, and welcome to Sandy Plans, where I show you how I use my minimal planners to manage my non-minimal life. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you're new here, welcome, and thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy the video and consider subscribing. Okay, so what am I doing today? We're going to be setting up the week of the 25th through to the 31st of July. It's pretty cool to have the month finishing on the 31st so we can start August clean on the 1st on a Monday. It always makes me a little bit happy when I get a clean week at the start of the month. So this week um, I'm also going to go through my goal related weekly actions for the Maxi Life pages. So this week I'm going to keep using my custom B6 weekly inserts which have a horizontal layout, a habit tracker and a list of tasks that I use to capture anything that might come up during the week after I do my normal weekly actions from my goals. I'm also going to be setting up my weekly reflections and my weekly actions from my goals list. I'm not going to be taking you through the full weekly reflections, um, that's pretty private, so I'm going to keep that one to myself. But all I've done to the setup at the moment is to use my pink mild liner. So I think this one is the dusty pink out of the, the new set. I'll pop the details in here so that you know the colour code, but I've just highlighted the different sections here as well. For my weekly actions, I will be bringing in an assortment of Zebra Mild Liners and Sig Clean Colour Dots. This is probably the most colour I use in my planner and just helps me to categorise all the different areas. They are colour coded to the original Muxy Life um, palette. Not perfect, but they do a really good job. So these are the pages that I printed out directly from the Maxi Life inserts themselves. Um, they're not perfect, they were scaled down from um, the digital planner, but it gives you an idea the colours are actually pretty close. I'll make sure to note down the colour codes um, and colour names just in case you're wanting to try out. The other main pens that I'll be using today are my Clanner in my point four in black it's my go-to if i decide to write on any transparent um, stickies or sticky notes i'll be using my uni pin oil-based ink marking pen in the 01 size so that one's really good it won't smear on any of the transparent stickies there might also be a few other pens that i bring in just depending on what i'm going to do in terms of the non-planner and non-pen supplies i'll be using my manicare tool my manicare tweezers um, that i got from priceline and my slice cutting tool to cut down any of the stickers that i might be using speaking of stickers there will be an assortment of um, creative sticker co stickers that will be coming in and that'll be a bunch of different icons and script stickers depending on what I'm working on for the week. That's all the things I'm going to be using. Let's get into it. First, before we set up the new week, let's take a quick look at how last week panned out. So again, my weekly reflections, I keep them quite a private, so I've just got them covered up. Um, had a pretty good week on my weekly actions. Um, I did do all of my personal stuff, which was an hour appointment. I did film two videos and we did try a new recipe. It was a lasagna soup. Kind of okay with it, kind of didn't love it. We'll see how we go. We might use it, I might tweak it and try it again. Um, health and recreation. Um, I binged watched Resident Evil with my partner. And one thing I forgot to write down because I forgot it was coming up was that Virgin River Season 2 was coming out and I did finish that. So I'm just going to quickly get that in here. I did finish that this morning. Okay, in terms of work and learning, um, I started designing inserts for my 2023 collection. I will be setting up a, a printables shop in the next couple of months so i've started doing the inserts for that keep an eye out on my socials i'll give you an idea on when it's coming out 
but yeah, super excited about that. For family and relationships this week, I did have both my girls with me and I like to make sure that I spend some one-on-one -on -one time with each of them. Um, Chloe was actually uh, sick most of the week, so she was home and we managed to spend quite a bit of time together. Um, Kira and I watched a couple of TV shows together that she really enjoys, so make sure that we got some time in before they went back to their dads. For health and wellness, um, the daily vitamins are just not happening. I think I'm just going to have to work them into a habit, but anyway, we will persist. Uh, seven to eight hours sleep did really well there, did manage to get a good amount of sleep this week, um, did help with a lot of things. And you'll see when I get into my habit tracker, um, the water, not so good, but we're getting there. With the personal growth, um, daily gratitudes and 30 minute self care. This is definitely a work in progress, but I'm glad I'm making them a bit of a priority and they're definitely getting better. For financial, I did manage to do my tax return this week. I have not done my monthly budget or my weekly check-in. I'm going to be sitting down with my partner today to get that done. So that'll be after all of this. And I did manage to close all my debt accounts with all the different banks and things. So really excited. Um, officially debt-free. So yeah, something to be proud about there. In terms of physical environment, um, I did start working through, at least thinking through, a weekly cleaning and laundry routine at the moment things are still up in the air i have got some inserts for actually where have i got them to do there we go so i do have some routine inserts that i have designed um, in terms of a weekly routine it's just a matter of starting to get through and it's just a matter of starting to work through how I want to lay out the week. Um, just that I have a plan when I start it. So hopefully this week I will get that all out of my head and into my planner so that I can just start adapting it and working it into my weekly plan. Anyway, hopefully by this time next week, you'll see that that's done. In terms of the week itself, it was a bit of a weird one, actually. My youngest was sick from pretty much the entire week. Um, we had term three start at school on Tuesday. My eldest was sick on Thursday as well. And she's had a girlfriend of hers positive with COVID. So, you know, a bit of an a watch and wait there. On Friday, I did manage to work a little bit. I did have to take some time off um, on Tuesday through Thursday. So I should probably mark that in here. As much as it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect and I don't necessarily like changing my planner. I do like to track when I've been at work and when I haven't been. So I'm just going to use some of these transparent matte stickies. It's just something like that I didn't go to work. So I did work from home on Friday. Um, my ex-husband picked up my youngest on Friday evening and I did some designing for some inserts and started setting up my website. So really cool. Saturday or yesterday, um, we've got two boxes, Octavia and Indy. Octavia was actually coughing pretty badly on Thursday and Friday. So we decided to take it to the vet on Saturday. Um, turns out she's got kennel cough, so have some meds for her and she's already on the mend. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I did have a wash day for my hair, so I'm a curly girl. And typically like to wash my hair at least once a week, but so I try to keep track of when I do that. Today it's a lot of life admin, so weekly setup, monthly setup, and my budget, which is late. So I'm gonna be sitting down with my partner to take care of that. In terms of habits, um, like I said, the sleeping's been really well, the water's been a bit patchy. Um, I wrote the wrong thing here, it should have really been self-care. Um, Definitely an improvement, but not really consistent at this stage. So going to keep working on that. Vitamins were a non-existent thing, which probably in hindsight probably should have been a bigger focus given that we all were feeling a little bit unwell this week. That one's one to focus on for this week. Gratitudes, again, definitely an improvement, but not consistent. Reading didn't happen. Um, I'm actually considering dropping this one, but... We'll give it one more week and see how we go. And even though I haven't got the routine on paper, I have managed to get quite a bit of cleaning and all laundry done um, on every day during the week. So just waiting to finish filming and then we'll get some more laundry on for today. That's last week. 
I'm going to pause for a little bit here so I can do my weekly reflections. And then when I come back, we'll do the weekly actions. Okay, I'm back. So I've done my weekly reflections. Um, let's go through and set up the weekly actions. Now, I normally keep my, what I call my Maxi Life's pens and markers all together. Oh God, this is going to be a mess. But anyway, um, let's go through all of these. This is the mild liner. Actually, wait a second. Okay, so that's my color palette. Very good. The personal is mild gold. Okay, and the dot marker that I'm using is Summer Sun. So. In terms of personal, I'm going to be doing a little bit of flicking backwards and forwards. We're going to have a nail appointment that I will work into next week's schedule. Keratin wash. Now my hair is in a bit of a transitionary phase at the moment, so I'm still trying to work out what's going to work out best for it. It also desperately needs a colour, but... I'll take care of that and we'll give the reading one last chance fun and recreation so this one is the mild marigold and we're going to be using the plain color mark fawn or dot mark i should say okay how are we tracking in okay we're going to do a brady bunch out in this week what that means is we try to go out at least once a month with all four kidlets. And next weekend is going to be the last weekend of the month where it's going to be all six of us. So a good opportunity to do a, a Brady Bunch outing. We call it the Brady Bunch because we are a blended family. It's just our little inside joke. Now work and learning. I know what I need to do here. So I need to keep working on the website. And I need to do some more insert designing. Let's see that done. Oh, sorry, the color codes. Um, we've got in the mild liner, it's MR, which is mild red. And in the clean color dot markers, it is the salmon. I'm going to use that. Okay, moving on to family and relationships. Okay. Using the mild liner MVI, which is mild violet, and pairing that with the clean color dot hyacinth. Family and relationships. So this week is a non kid week. So we'll have date night for myself and Grant. We intend to pair that with my Tuesday working from the office. I normally drive back from the office and we'll go out for dinner or something like that so we don't have to worry about cooking or cleaning or anything. Now health and wellness. I'm using the mild liner MDB which is the mild dark blue and I'm going to pair that one with the dot marker in denim now with this one i need to be really super careful with it if for some reason it is a super inky one i don't know whether it's just my pen or if they're all the same but if i'm not careful yeah like i did here it will bleed through so this is 120 120 gsm very few of my markers will actually bleed through this one is one of them and obviously i was not careful enough there so i'll have to do a little bit of camouflaging on the other side but we will go from there. Vitamins, water, sleep, and I actually need to add one, just something that I've introduced during the middle of the week, in the middle of the month, I should say. Seven to eight hours sleep. We'll go with two liters of water. We will try to keep the vitamins in. And shocker, anyone who knows me, I'm gonna be reducing my coffee. All right, so personal growth. 
So this is using the Mild Liner MSG, which is the Mild Summer Green, and using the Ocean Colour Dot Marker, Daily Gratitudes, Weekly Memory Keeping, and we're going to add the 30 minute self care. Now on to Financial, and this one is MG, uh, which is Mild Green, and putting that one together with Kiwi. Not what I need to do here because I am behind. So, monthly budget, and I'm gonna have to do a check in just to see. We're about a week into the pay week, pay month, I should say. So, it's not too bad. And I know I haven't done too much out of budget spending, so it should be okay. The last one we're gonna do physical environment. So, that's um, MGR or the mild grey in the mod liner. And putting that one together with the platinum. Okay, so I definitely need to declutter the laundry and do my weekly clean laundry routine. And that in of itself will be a very busy week. So this is what my weekly actions look like. Okay, now onto the week. What I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to pull out my weekly inserts and I'm going to flick over to my months okay at this point I am going to bring out my writing mat now again I can't Instagram pretty but I'm more about the practical these days I'm just going to have my monthly open to the side here um, let's take a quick look. So we've got I've got a couple of patron lives. Chloe's got her tutor, but she's with her dad, so that one's not really going to end up on my schedule. Tuesday will be bin night. I've got parent teacher night for my eldest Kira on Wednesday. And it's a couple of hours of effectively speed dating with her teachers, and not much else going on for the rest of the week, which is really, really, really good. The kids will be coming back on Friday. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, now let's start with the work schedule. looks like like I said we've got kids coming this weekend so swap to the different kid washies This is why I like keeping the little offcuts because they always come in handy. Actually, this one's a little bit too long. Put that one for another time. Okay, let me get the custody in and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's the custody schedule. What have we got? Let's start with Monday. I've got a patron live. Cindy's all the way in California, so it ends up being a little bit early for me, but that's okay. 
Tuesday is let's grab a sip of this. Tuesday is bin night, so I'll get that in. And more than likely this will be date night for Brett and I. So I normally when I finish up work, I've got a bit of a drive back from the city, so by the time I'm back in the area, it's about dinner time. And then neither of us usually really feel like cooking, so we normally go to one of the local pubs here and have dinner together, have a chat, catch up, and then come home and do our usual TV watching. Wednesday, I've got another patron live. This one's a little bit later, and I've got parent teacher afternoon for Kira. Thursday, I don't really have anything. And then Friday, I'm going to be picking up the girls from school. And normally Brett goes to pick up the kids once I get back from picking up mine. So it's usually about four o'clock, unless he's working. Well, depending on what time they get back, Kira and Chloe and I might have a mummy-daughter night or we'll have um, a Brady Bunch dinner. We'll see how Friday night works out. Saturday and Sunday, I don't really have anything pre-planned. I want to do a bit of a Brady Bunch outing hopefully on Saturday I'm just using one of my May Paper Co sticky flags in the colour nude I'm still getting used to writing on these transparent flags they're a little bit slick and I think because the pen's a little bit finer as well it's a little bit harder to get the pen control it always ends up looking a little bit messy so normally what we do is on the Friday night, once we've got all the kids home, we'll have a bit of a family meeting and go over what we've got for the weekend. And then we'll kind of decide for sure which day we're going to do what on. So that's why I like to use the page flag here or the sticky note so that I can move it around if I need to. Sunday, assuming that Saturday we go out for our Brady Bunch outing, Sunday is likely to be the day that I do all of my mannering and my recording. So expect a loud house for that because we'll likely have all six of us home and I'll do my budget check. The other thing that I will do on Sunday, assuming that Saturday becomes the Brady Bunch day, is I will get a mani pedi done. The weekend's a little bit in flux, it will really depend on what the kids want to do and when. So we'll keep that a little bit open. Um, it might be that we swap these two around. We'll keep it in flux until we get the kids back and decide what we want to do. Okay, so last little bit, let's set up the habits. So we're going to do the sleep. I'm going to do two litres of water because I'm really not getting anywhere near three. So let's try to adjust this. 30 minutes self-care, vitamins, 30 minutes of reading and either laundry or cleaning every day. So that's it. That's the week kind of set up. Let's get it into the planner. Move this tab around. So do that. And there we go. That's the week set up. Um, doesn't really look like a full week just by looking at it, but lots of things to do. So we'll see how we go. Thank you for joining me this week while I set up my planner. If you've liked what you've seen, don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel as I bring out more content every week here and on my Instagram at underscore sandyplans underscore. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I have new content up. And tell me in the comments how you're managing your goals and keeping yourself on track to achieve the milestones you're aiming for. See you later.